Okay guys, here I have a uh, 2007 uh, GMC Yukon and what you see here that the idle is above 2000 RPM that this is idle and uh, what I got this vehicle in for the throttle position sensor was replaced well not just the throttle position sensor but the whole throttle body and uh, now it needs to be calibrated I'm gonna go ahead and shut the vehicle off and what we're gonna do first okay my keys on key on engine off I'm going to go ahead and check it for DTCs, make sure there's no uh, uh, diagnostic trouble codes in memory. Okay, no diagnostic trouble codes. Let's go ahead and uh, exit here. Let's uh, press escape. We're going to go to special functions and we're going to do uh, select number two, engine speed and throttle. We're going to uh, check throttle position. We want to check to see if our, our throttle position, it's, uh, okay, my key, it turned ignition on, engine off, okay, now let's see if it, if it matches the throttle opening uh, with the test. Now here, without doing anything yet, the command state is zero. Uh, throttle position desired angle is 13%. Throttle position indicated angle is 23%. So right now I got the engine off with the key on and I mean it looks a little blurry here. Let's see if I can focus a little better. Okay, here we go. Uh, and the throttle position agrees. Okay, now let's go ahead and start doing the test. I'm going to go ahead and increase it. Now if you see here the command state is 10%. And uh, the throttle position indicated angle, the actual angle on the throttle body is 10%. Throttle position desired angle is 9%. So when I, once I started doing uh, this test, it's, everything is matching up and it's agreeing. Okay, let's go ahead and increase it a little bit more. Uh, command state is 20%. Indicated throttle angle is 19 and desired is 19. Let's just do it one more step here. Step it up a little bit. And as you can see, 30% commanded state, uh, indicated angle 30, and desired angle is 29. I can still go in increasing and uh, increasing it, uh, but for now, I, I, I think that's just uh, enough testing just to confirm that our throttle body it's in is in good shape. And I just checked underneath the hood, and uh, it looks like a used throttle body, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna go to module setup. We're going to go to uh, idle learn reset and we're going to follow the directions that it's going to uh, give us. Command state none. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, press reset. Here we go. It's resetting the throttle body as you saw. Reset idle learn complete. I'm going to press OK. And if you saw, my uh, idle was at 2,000 RPM. Let's go ahead and start the truck. There we go. Our throttle angle, our throttle body has been reset. We were at 2,000 RPM. Now we're somewhere around probably what, 650, 600? Okay, so uh, whenever you change parts or, or, or assume that you need to change parts, sometimes you need to relearn those new or known good used parts. It doesn't have to be new. I mean, as long as you know that it's a known good part, then, uh, I mean, if it's relearnable, you test it first like we did. If it's relearnable, you can relearn it. Okay, so there you have it. Throttle body actuator uh, reset on a 2007 uh, GMC Yukon. Alright guys, well, uh, this is Hiram. Click the like. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe. And uh, if you have any ideas on any other videos, just let me know. Thank you for watching.